guys a warm welcome to my youtube channel my name is christine uh guys cabinet secretary for foreign affairs dr alfred mtua has just concluded two days official visit in the united kingdom of saudi arabia and he had meetings with um uh kenyans working and living in saudi arabia the kenyans diplomat and official from saudi government dr alfred mtua highlighted so many things and number one he said that the problem facing kenyans are uh, working in saudi arabia starts from home the problem starts here the problem is with our government okay because the whole thing is compromised the recruitment agencies is full of corruptions full of cartels so some are fake some they don't care and some of these agencies are owned by politicians and very prominent people who think that are, are above the law and by the way um ile pesa ambayo inatumwa kwa mwezi kila mwezi for development purposes kwa wale wa Kenyans wenye wako diaspora Saudi Arabia comes number two after United States of America meaning the government is not willing to stop Kenyans from traveling to Gulf states especially Saudi Arabia because they are contributing a lot to the economy of our country now they are contributing a lot why are you not protecting them why are you not giving them security and ensuring that they are safe another thing that alfred mutua said that they will increase the embassy workers watatuma wafanyikazi wengi kutoka kenya wakuje waweze kusaidia na hii mambo ambayo wa Kenya wanapitia uh, mambo na exit and such stuffs what i increase the labor another thing ambayo alfred mtua amesema amesema kwamba ameuliza he asked saudi government to grant illegal immigrants known as kemboi amnesty wale waweze kutengeneza makaratasi yao na pia wale ambao wanataka kwenda nyumbani na pia wa, wa Kenya wengine waweze kuja kufanya kazi kwa industry kadha hiyo ndo mambo ambayo Alfred Mtua ameweza kusema na pia kuna wale wa Kenya ambao wako na watoto ili waweze kupata um, health care mzuri the illegal illegal immigrant known as Kemboi and also the legal one waweze kupata a healthy care mzuri e kemboi wana watoto and also alfred mutua interacted with those kids and he, he had wonderful time with those kenya kids born in saudi arabia and um kitu ingine ambayo alfred mutua ameweza kugusia ama ameweza kusema ni kwamba wataweka um, hotline uh, kwa kenya embassy pale ambapo Kenya akiwa na shida anaweza piga na action itachukuliwa immediately hope see story to this one will materialize so see story to so guys na watu wenye wanasema haya mambo ya kwamba the problem is not um, the problem starts back at home here Kenya wale recruitment agents the government dio pale shida inaambia kwa sababu who is allowing the cartel the government who is allowing their corruption in um, recruitment agencies the government so these people they are contributing a lot in the economy of our country you are not giving them security you are compromising with their lives kwa sababu umepewa kahongo ka shilingi 1500 you compromise with the life of someone maisha inaweza nunuliwa na 500k nope so um 
President William Arab Samoy Ruto. You call yourself um, Chief Hustler. And these are your fellow hustlers. Amba wa mejituma, wa hustle. And they're doing great. Some of these people, some of these ladies, muna wawonanga tukule TikTok. But wa mejipanga. Some are land ladies. Ni wadosi. So please, government, streamline the things for them. Deal with those crooks. Crooks. Mwezo kuwasaidia. So that, waweze kufanya kazi. Na si tu wati wale wa Saudi pekeao. The Gulf states. Gulf states. Kulingana na Alfred mtua. Wanapenda wa Kenya. Because Kenyans are hard work. They love Kenyans. So please give them security. Weke ni sheria. Mukiweka sheria, amta isikia uru rundura, rundura madurama izi. Weke ni sheria to protect your people. Also mnaiza eka safe houses. Mtu akiwa na shida. Anaiza okolewa naende kwa safe houses. Because... Hii pesa ambayo inatoka huku Saudi kikujanga Kenya. Na hii pesa ambayo agent wanapata. This is a lot of money. Kwa sababu every day Qatar Airways eh, Saudi Airlines inakwanga imeja wasichana. Wanakuja Saudi kufanya kazi. There is money. Mweke ni safe houses for these girls. Ni busy. Ni biashara mnachapa. Protect your business. So, agents, le ambao mnaendanga kusanitize. Nimeona mwingine anaongea vibaya na itwa Lilian, Lilian anaongea vibaya. You see, your systems are compromised, cartels full of corruption. Na huyu Lilian rumors zinasema kwamba aliyai kuwa mfanyikazi Saudi Arabia. Alafu yeye anaenda kuongelea vibaya anasema ati wakufe tu. Na ni agent ambaye anakulanga pesa za watu. This is so wrong. Unaona hii statement ambayo Alfred Mutua amesema. Hii ni maneno ambayo imetoka kwa Arabu. So these people, the Arabs, si wanyama tu venye, ni thirikali yenu ime fail. So if your, city, your government is not protecting you, unexpect aje sirikali ya inji ya kigeni kuprotect. And by the way, the police from the Gulf state, they are tremendous. They are not like African police. Police wa, wa Gulf state, is inji, Qatar, Saudi, Dubai, Oman, Lebanon. Police ya kikushika kwanza. Anakupea maji hata anakununulia food kule kwanza. So guys, for more information and update, you are requested to subscribe. My name is Christine. Bye bye. See you on up next.